Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you some of the uh, topics in JavaScript like uh, using if statement, storing a value in the variables and accessing element using uh, get element by ID plus being able to change some of the styles of the element in your page. As you can see on the screen, I have four boxes. I use four div tag. Uh, each of them has a number to identify the box. One, two, three, four. What I'm going to do is uh, uh, this is what I need to do. So let me let me just show you. I'll refresh the page. Uh, a prompt box comes up and asks me for uh, the uh, box ID. I enter one. Simply changes the background color and the border color of the first box. If I go ahead and run this again, number two, number three, and number four. Okay. So this is what we want to code today. Before doing anything, we always need to write an algorithm. We have to have our plan as what is that we want to do and how we want to solve this problem. So, of course, uh, the very first thing is uh, we have to get the number or get the uh, box ID, let's say, from the user. From the user, right? Now, the second one is uh, after we get this value, we have to check the a box ID against the values we have uh, with values one, two, three, and four. These are four boxes that we have. Based on the number selection or based of the matching that we find on the second one or second option, uh, we need to change the background color. Change the selected box BG color or background color, right? Now, at the same time, when we're doing this, this is a subset of this one, uh, we need to change the border color as well, right? Now, uh, but the very first one, I know simply if I want to get something from the user, I have to create a variable, I'll call it box ID, and I'll make it equal prompt, right? Uh, for the second one, I know I have to use the if statement, so simply I will say whatever is the box ID that I stored in the uh, first step, I will compare it with the values one might have, so to know if it's the first box, second box, and so on, right? And uh, simply this one, I have to change the background color, which I don't know how it is, right? So if, if I don't know this, don't know, uh, this means I have to go and figure it out later, but it doesn't change anything in my algorithm. So don't No, I know I uh, miss the NT here. So I have to find these two things. That wouldn't cause any problem for me to have a plan. So I have a plan to get the number, store it into a variable, check the number to see if, which box it is that I'm selecting, and then simply change the, ba change the background color and the uh, text color. Let's go ahead and uh, write this now. I simply will go and create four div tags in the body section that I can access and change them with the uh, JavaScript. As you can see, I'll put div ID 1, uh, div 2, div 3, div 4 as their ID. I also will write my JavaScript to actually uh, make them look like what I show you as a demo. So I'll put this style as well to change the width, height, and then do the floating and some of the necessary things to actually get the box to look what to look uh, like this, right? So I'm done with this one and uh, simply I have to start coding now. The very first thing I need to do as the plan goes, it says I have to get the number first, right? So let's go and do that. So I go to the script, I simply create a variable, I call it box ID, right? And uh, let me just make this one a bit bigger so you guys can see it better. So I do box ID equal uh, prompt, enter a value or number, enter a number between one, two, four, right? So I will get the value. The very first thing is, I have to go and based on my algorithm, I have to go and check the box ID to see what value it is and which box it matches or which box ID it matches. Simply go ahead and I say box ID, if it's equal, equal one. 
So since uh, the operation is almost the same, we have to select a box, change a background color and a border color. I will write a very first if statement and then I will apply the same changes to the other cases as well. So the very first thing is that the first thing I have to do is uh, I want to be able, uh, now that I select this, I have to go to option three and four and change the background color, right? Well, I don't know how to do it. Definitely, I can just search on the internet and figure out how to change the background color using JavaScript. So I just search for JavaScript, change dev background color. Uh, there's so many of them here. I'll go to this one. Here you go. Right? So I found this one out. Let me just close this, go back to my code, and simply uh, what I can do is I can, this is for the body, but what I want to do is I want to apply this to a div tag. So what I'm going to do here is I simply go ahead and use the dot get element by ID function. I pass the ID of the div tag, in this case div1, right? And I just put the style here. Let's see if that works, right? Let's test our code. So I just go ahead, run this code. And let me just bring it here, refresh the page, open one. Here you go, it does work, very nice, very nice. So now I have to figure out how to actually use JavaScript to change the, to change the border, right? Uh, so for that, I again, go ahead and search the internet and uh, this is what I found, here you go. So this is another one, right? Now document.getElement is still is used. Do you have the ID? You have a style, border. So you can access any of these elements, like you can say border width, border style, border color, and so on, right? So let me go ahead and uh, do that right here. Um, let's go ahead. I need almost the same, right? So I just copy paste this. Instead of saying background, I will go ahead and say dot uh, border color. See that? There you go. Is equal. Let's put green for now, right? Let's test our code. See if everything works fine. So just go ahead and open this. Okay. Refresh the page. Okay. Okay, refresh the page. One, is it changed? Yes, it is. Okay, now let's go back to our code. Um, if I go here, uh, I can simply go ahead and repeat the same thing over and over. So that is why, just go ahead, copy paste this uh, a few more times to optimize this code. I just simply go ahead and put else, then I make this one two, else if three, else if four, right? Well, of course, I'm going to uh, change the color, red. Let's say blue, green, and white, okay? Let's see if it works. So I have them all for now to have different color, but the border, right? So I go here, one, refresh the page again, two, refresh the page again, three, refresh the page again, four. Well, it all uh, quite changed, but it just changed the first one. The reason is the ID for all of them has to be changed as well. So here is div2, div2, div3, div3, uh -huh. div4, and div4. Oh my God, here you go. Okay, let me refresh this now. So I go one, refresh, Two, refresh, three, refresh, four, right? Here you go. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to add a more uh, more thing to it too. What I want to do is based on the box ID, odd or even, I want to go ahead and change this color or the border, let's say uh, color, yes. So I'll go ahead and I say if box ID mod two, this will give me the remainder. So if box ID is an odd number, the remainder, the remainder will be the box ID. 
um, whatever remain after we take all the twos out, for instance, if it's one, the remainder is going to be one, right? So in this case, I say when box ID is odd, right? If box ID is odd, let's let's make this one yellow, right? Uh, else, it means uh, box ID ID is even, right? Even. Then I simply change it to another color. Uh, let me see. Uh, maybe, maybe brown. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it looks. So just refresh this page. I did this for first one. Okay, number one. So as you can see, yellow did work. Let me just put this one for the second element. Okay, right here. Of course, I have to change this to two okay let's check this one as well so if i go here and i'll put two then you can see is uh, the border is red let me refresh one more time the border is yellow so now simply i can go ahead and move these to all these cases okay so i simply go ahead now change the box id to make sure it will apply all these changes apply to the right box ID. Okay, so we're good. Let's test our program one more time to make sure everything is okay. I go with four, I go with three, I go with two, I go with one. Right? Does that make sense? So let's go back to a code. Okay, everything looks okay. Yeah, now I want to teach you a new way of writing this if and else here. So instead of writing the whole thing here, like this, I can simply have a different way of writing it. We call it ternary operator. So the ternary operator allows me to write an if and else statement in just one line. So for me, I want to be able to change the background color of the selected box, right? So I go ahead and instead of assigning the value directly here, I will put the condition I had inside the if statement like this. And so if this condition is true, question mark in this case means it's true, then make it yellow. Else, make it brown. Okay, let's see if number two works. So just go ahead and refresh my page. If I go to two, then it simply make it brown and blue, right? So it's the same effect. What I'm going to do is simply go ahead and remove all this because I don't need it anymore and put my ternary operator instead. So I added all those there, all the ternary operator. One thing is uh, whenever we code and we see a similar pattern as repeating over and over, definitely we can take these things out and make them all one statement because look at this. Anywhere I go and change the background color, right? of the box, I write almost the same thing. The only thing changes is the div ID and the color, right? So another way of doing this is would be to create a variable pg color and equal uh, nothing, empty string at the beginning, and simply uh, have another one, uh, have another one. Uh, to where box div, right? Box div, make it empty string as well, which create, uh, holds the box ID. So in this case, I can go ahead and do this. Look, I can go and say bg color is equal red, right? And I can say the box div is equal div one, right? So instead of doing all these things, I can simply have this variable. So if I go here, sorry, let me just comment this. Okay. Let's just remove this for now. So I go ahead, remove this, and replace this with, what color was this? It was blue, right? Blue, and this is div2. I do that for the other one as well. Just have to remember it was green and that there was free, right? 
just put this one back, okay. And then I have the fourth one, which is white. Okay, and this is day four. Okay, I have a variable. Now I can simply go ahead and add the same statement that changes the color, like document, document dot get element by ID. Now uh, I have the uh, box there, which has the box ID, right? And I can go dot get, sorry, dot uh, style dot background color is equal bg color, right? So let's see if this works. So I eliminated all those things, put it in the variable. So if I go here and I run this, I uh, put one, yes, then I refresh two. Refresh three, refresh four. So everything works fine, right? Look at this. So now the other thing is uh, the part that I have here can be eliminated as well. I don't really need these anymore. Like for this statement, I can just simply get rid of all this. Okay. So I don't need this anymore. And I don't need these anymore. So I can remove all of the ternary operator that changes the uh, color, the border color, and move it to the end after the if statement, right? Okay, so here, instead of hard coding the div tag, the div ID, I would just use box dev, right? So let's try one more time. Refresh this, two, three, four, one. Beautiful, so everything works fine. Uh, so I want to emphasize a little bit on optimizing this code as well. Honestly, I the only problem I have here is what if the user go ahead and enter five, right? If I go here and do inspect element, go to the console tab, I can see it generates an error. Error is not good in JavaScript because it halts the whole process right after that error. So what I can do is, uh, I can have another condition here to check if the uh, if the box ID is valid, right? If his box ID is valid, or I can simply go say if bg color is not equal empty string, right? I can do that as well. So in this case, if the bg color has a value, it means user has enter a correct box ID that matches one of these if a statement. Otherwise, BG color stays uh, empty string. I could check if the box ID is uh, greater than or equal one, less than or equal four as well, right? So this is another way of writing this. I could say if uh, box ID is greater than or equal one and box ID is less than or equal four, right? I can do something like that too. Both are valid. It depends how you're looking at it, right? Now, the other thing is, uh, if you look at this, the box ID, the only thing that changes in the box dev is the ID. So one, then two, then three, then four, right? Which is very similar to the box ID. So the first one is one, here I have one. The second one is two, here I have two and so on, right? So what I can do is I can simply get rid of these as well and regenerate the box ID on fly. How? Look at this. If I go and I know all of them contain all these boxes, ID contain div here as well, right? The only thing I have to attach to this is the box ID. So if I do this, then I'm creating a string that matches the ID of one of those boxes. Let me refresh this. Okay, one. Oh, BG color is not defined. Let's see. I, I don't know why I always write GB instead of BG. Okay, let's try this one more time. So one. Okay, refresh two. Refresh three. Refresh four. Okay, that's all. I hope you enjoy this tutorial.